What's up everybody? So today in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you appending arrays in Airtable. So that's like updating information using pre-existing information without deleting the pre-existing information. So this is a really, it's a little bit high level. So if you're a beginner, this will help you understand how to use some of these Airtable automations. But if you're advanced, this will probably just be a good refresher for you. Uh, maybe you might learn something new. I hope you do. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help you guys optimize your information systems, help you set up an Airtable Asana Slack, help you use Zapier to automate a lot of your workflows, automate a lot of your systems to not be in those like day-to-day -day tasks. So if you're interested in any services, if that sounds good to you, you could check out the link in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So in here, the the use case that I heard of was in the Facebook group, the Airtable community group, which you can see up here, was somebody had basically in a Google sheet, they had like participants in an event. And basically they wanted to add a new participant, mark them as attended in this context, in this context field right here. So they wanted to keep James Doe, but they also wanted to maybe add Ben Green. So I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, with this automation. So what the context sheet would look like is it would just look like something like this, It'd probably just be like, uh, we'll delete all these, but maybe if this was for any event, there'd be, this is the event ID, which you would need to make sure it matches up over here. So uh, we'll, we'll add this here. So event ID goes right there. And then to make this match up, Ben Green, Jane Doe are in the first one. So, gonna move that one down there. So we have two people in event one, and that is Ben Green, Jane, Jane Doe. And the reason why this is important is because this is how it's going to be entered in here. You're gonna be entering a new participant in each line basically. And this is, you're gonna be essentially, for everybody in event one, these two over here are gonna become an array, uh, but at different times, which is kind of the cool part with this. So then we'll have Ben Green and Jane Doe again. Just copy and paste those down here. So now we can get started. So basically what you wanna do is you first want to have a new row is created in this Google Sheet over here. So this new row is created and now what we wanna do is based on this row, we need to find the Airtable record that matches this event. That way we know which one to update. So if we come in here and we need to find event one, then I'll know to update this context. So what we can do is we can say in Airtable, come over here and create a new automation. And this will be an uh, example update. So the new automation and so when a row is created in Google Sheets, select your Google Sheet, connect your new account if you haven't added one yet. But so select your sheet, now select your worksheet and then run the test. And then after that runs successfully, click done, then click add action, then click. This is important. Here you wanna click find records because first you need to find the record that matches that event ID. And so we're gonna be searching in the events table and we're gonna be searching where the uh, event name contains. And this is something that, this is a new automation so most people don't know about this little thing over here, but this little gear over here, you can change this to dynamic. And what, when you change it to dynamic, that basically means for every record, it's gonna change these conditions. So you want to change these conditions based on the trigger. So the trigger needs to equal this one right here. So we can run that test. It basically needs to uh, equal the event ID that was found here. So it could be any of these, but like if there was a no, new event ID, it would need to find the record that matches that event ID based on the trigger because it could change in the spreadsheet. So now we'll click done there. So you're two thirds of the way there. Now this next action is going to be to update the record. So when you update the record, you wanna choose the events. And now what you wanna do is you wanna choose the record ID. So we're gonna be choosing the record ID that matches our event ID. So we should have only found one record in here. If you have like a true unique, unique identifier over here with this event ID, uh, which I have another video on unique identifiers if you are not sure what I just said. But basically we should just be able to put in the record ID right here and then choose the field. Uh, so now when we choose the field, what we want to do is right here, we're updating a record. So we want to choose contacts. 
And now what we want to do is when we want to update this, we want to come in here and click the plus and we want to choose the, uh, we want to insert information from the find records. So this is where you're going to be appending the data. So one of the really big pluses to you using this find records in here is you came in here. So I believe we found event three. So we came in here and found event three, but not only when we found event three, did we just get like the record ID. We also got any information in any of these fields right here. So what we can now do with that information is we can take this information and plug it in right here into the context. So we can still come in here to find records. Uh, so we want to come down here to contacts, continue through the contacts and make a list of these record IDs. So we can insert those record IDs there. And now we can put a comma. So you can see there's like no spaces in here either before or after this. So I put a comma there. And so now this is where you append it. So you have your data that is pre-existing in there in the contacts field, but now you're going to insert the new data in here. So the new data in here for maybe record three, or basically would, you just be coming back up here to your initial trigger to get the new person. So you're going to come down here to row values, and then you're going to choose insert uh, this one right here. So insert that. And so now you can click run this test. Uh, test failed, of course. So it looks like what the issue is in here is we have you know have great test data in here. So for these events, I'm going to be showing all uh, all new data in here. So I'm going to go retest these triggers, and I'm just going to say it needs to find that in event one we have Ben Green, but in event one we only have Jane Doe in here. So now to add somebody to that, what we need to do is we need to come up here and test this again. So test that new row in Google Sheets. So maybe that one again, uh, right here. So we'll test that now. So test that out because I think it recognizes that first row as headers. Then we can test this find records right here. So we can go find that one right there with Jane Doe. And now what we should be able to do is we should be able to test this and it adds them right there. So there's a little bit of a hiccup there with uh, having pre-existing data in here that didn't match what it was trying to find from the Google Sheet. But using this right here, you can append the data like you just saw. So I hope this was helpful. Again, the takeaway there when I was troubleshooting that was I needed to have just one the, the new record in here could not already exist in here. And so I believe it was trying to add Jane, Jane Doe, comma Jane Doe, uh, to an event that already had Jane Doe in it, which is kind of confusing. The only times when this does not work is sometimes you need to add another action, a new like automation here for when there is nothing there for the, like in the context. So this is really good at appending, but if you want to, learn how to do this when there's like no pre-existing contacts in there uh throw a comment in the comment section i'd love to hear your feedback but this should at least show you how to append this right here and you can do the same thing if you had like a multi-select or if you had a like if you just wanted to append a long text or single line text field you could do the same thing across the board so i hope this was really useful i hope you can now use this in your business and maybe append if you have like a uh, order form or a attendance sheet. But if you're curious on how I did that last automation that I was talking about earlier with uh, syncing up uh, Airtable and a Google Sheet, then you can check out this video on the end screen right here. I go through two automations to sync those up. And there's an important like distinction in the triggers that will be important if you want to sync these up. So I highly encourage you to go watch that. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.